So Females in the Flea is an initiative that got started earlier in the year when um, myself and others noticed that we had a driver shortage. Where could we get more drivers from? And we noticed from statistics only 3% of drivers are female. Because we're females ourselves in the industry, we wondered why more drivers weren't um, coming forward, why more female drivers weren't coming forward. And so we started putting the word out, asking around, seeing what was needed, and uh, Females in the Fleet has sprung board from there. Well, David saw an article that you'd done, I'd read it in the PHM, and he thought it would be a good idea to put us in touch, because uh, obviously I'm very opinionated and very female, and so are you. <laughs> And I loved your story, 30 years in the industry as a driver, an operator and lots of other things. And we did an article on you, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. I've sort of done everything in the trade from the ground up. Mm. And I just think, like you do, that there is just not enough women in the trade. And Take Me are in a very good position with the social media, etc., that they can do, obviously, to try and come on board. And we have got a great team of female managers with the Take Me group. Excellent. And then we met at the private hire show, didn't we? Yep. And I think our enthusiasm was matched, wasn't it? Well, it's kind of, we sort of bounced off each other, but it was the same in the conversations earlier on today with everybody yeah. in the group. It's uh, Women have a way of being able to interact in those kind of ways that just make it, you bounce ideas off each other and things come yeah. from it. And we both want the same things, don't we? Definitely. Yeah. Uh, we'd like to see a national fleet of female drivers. We'd like to see um, our charter that females in the fleet have developed to protect drivers being offered to all drivers, females and males. And we'd like to see um, a lot of support and safety and security measures put in place for female and male drivers. I suppose as someone who arranges the home school contracts um, in our company, I would love to see so many more females um, working along on those contracts. I think it's a perfect role for females. I think there's real security in it and I think that, that would be a great thing to implement. Um, well, we'd like to be able to offer a port of call basically uh, for new women that want to come into the industry to be able to have somebody, an ambassador um, in the industry that knows knows the game inside out, knows the pitfalls and knows the hurdles that a woman would face, um, not just in the industry, but from the you know from a home point of view as well. Um, we've mentioned before about women tend to have a lot more responsibilities at home. Um, so be it to be able to tailor their day and know that they can work when they want and how they want, um, I think is important to be able to maximise their earning potential as well. We want to attract more women to the trade and make it more attractive proposition so they realise that it isn't just a job, it can be a career. Because she was a bit concerned, she just got her licence and she was a little bit concerned about the safety element and she'd seen a recent video that we'd made uh, and how we mentioned that we can tailor dispatch um, so it wouldn't just be anybody and you know cash work it, it can be tailored with account jobs or NHS work and she was really really interested with that so she actually applied for a position in the Kettering Northampton area because she knew that was where I was from and she wanted to be able to speak to me because that's the kind of thing that she wanted to be able to do and on the back of that now she's been you know, I've had a great conversation with her and understand exactly what she wants and she's been passed and channeled back through now to where she wants to be working. I'd like to see an app that all drivers could uh, sign up to where there was information, safety and security measures and support in general as a sort of driver association type of scheme to support drivers throughout the UK. that safety was an issue for females, particularly ones that either didn't want to join because they thought it was unsafe or their partners or husbands thought that. And then we thought, well really, it's an issue for all drivers. So we are going to um, petition the government to discuss in uh, the House of Commons safety and security measures to be reviewed nationally. Uh, there are currently no national safety and security measures for taxi and private hire drivers. It could be different depending on where you live in the country. Hopefully it would encourage female drivers to join and it would benefit the current male drivers that we have. I know personally before I worked in the industry I would not
not getting a taxi as a private hire vehicle at all. I was too nervous, I felt unsafe, I didn't realise what's actually happening in the office. Um, most of the, or all the large um, dispatch companies have tracking and GPS tracking and a lot of the vehicles themselves have tracking as well. Um, so realising that actually from the driver's safety point of view but also the passengers, their, their whole journey is tracked um, and there's people in the office watching those journeys and if there's particularly big breaks or stops then those people are onto those drivers and yeah, there to help them really. Um, I suppose also the direct contact through those dispatch apps um, drivers have a direct contact. I know in our office they can press their emergency button and everyone's computers are overtaken by blaring sirens. <laughs> so it's something that can't be ignored. Um, so I think that's yeah a good thing to make people aware of. And personally, I've been in this industry about almost coming up to 10 years now, and I, I would happily get in any company's taxi knowing that I, my personal, um, for myself, that I'm trapped. I think it's the port of call as well, you know, for, for people to have recognised people within the industry that have been in the industry a long time, understand the industry from every aspect, as a driver, as an operator, as a controller, you know, all of us have, have done all of those roles, um, certainly the ambassadors within the group, um, and I just think it's, you know, it's a great, it's a great service to be able to offer and I think it will attract a lot more women if they know that they've got like-minded women that can look after them and know what they need. Well, this taxi network, the taxi trade was supposed to become part of the transport network years ago. Government stated that it would be and it never has been integrated into it. The transport network as a whole has a lot more protection, a lot more regulation and we want to be part of that. We want to have the same protection, the same safety measures and the same regulations.